up. There you go. <laughs> is, there a, is there a name for that? Yes, it's called the tightrope. The tight, the tightrope. Absolutely. Rope. All right, good. So we, about, <laughs> that's one thing. We, I think we could do that, Roxy. I, you know what? I've yeah, seen you it. get down during Rip the Runway. I was just so impressed with you, girl. You do your thing. I'm going oh. to leave the tightrope to you, though. Oh, but you can do it. But the album hard. is fabulous. Thank you. The you album. heard it. I you did. Listened. I came to your listening party that you oh, had here in New York thank City. You. And it thank was you so off much. The chain. You've been performing and you've been promoting this new album. But what's a typical, because I have to admit, I have yet to see a real Janelle Monet show. So what Sure. What is a typical Janelle Monáe show? Electrifying. Um, I don't choreograph, mm -hmm. you know, pretty much anything I do. So I'm just merely creating art, you know, right in front of my eyes and the audience's eyes. It's like a spiritual, out-of-body experience. I feel very possessed. <laughs> if, if you guys listen to the album, you would know exactly what she's talking about right now. She takes it to another level. I was uh, reading your Twitter page, and you talked about your parents' career. Tell everybody a little bit about your upbringing. Yeah, uh, I'm born and raised in uh, Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte County. Yes, sir, Midwest. Uh, yeah, my mother, my mother was a janitor. Uh, my father drove trash trucks, and my... Um, stepfather still works at the post office so I come from a very hard working class family who you know wears a uniform every day that's why you guys see me in my black and white paying homage to them you know people turning nothing into something and uh, going through everyday you know life's obstacles and my music is made for the people for us to to uplift and motivate they definitely raise you right if you I know your parents got to be watching right now they rate you you have her she's so cool man give it up for one uh, more time you know, my mama so and daddy cool. Grace, so right <laughs> So where do you get this style from? Because you're so left field with it. Where do you get all of this swagger from? You think I'm from? that left field? I, I mean, it, 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 uh, you're special. <laughs> you're very uh, special. <laughs> well, I, well, I'll take that. Again, you know, my music is, is like I said, I, I come, I'm, I create music for the people and to uplift them. And, um, yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I do, I do, however, I th do think it's very important for people to understand that, you know, as being a black woman, we're not all monolithic. We have our different ideas. We're not all the same. And uh, I do want to help redefine what it means to be a woman, how a woman can dress, how a woman can wear her hair. You know, sexiness and confidence can come in many different ways. Oh, and right. I think it's important for other young girls who are watching right now who are trying to decide if they're going to be themselves or be somebody else and to always embrace those things that make you unique, use them as superpowers, and just be comfortable with being an individual. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling your energy right now. And, and you know what's crazy is that you, you've been doing your thing for a very long time. I remember I your have. album before this one, Metropolis. I always yes, get it kind yes. of confused. That's right, baby. But um, you had your own buzz. So when you met with Big Boy and you created the music that you did, what did you guys think about each other when y'all got into the studio? Oh, Big Boy is like family. I mean, Outkast has definitely helped open up the door for artists like myself to, to create the music that we love and still be recognized on a global level. Uh, so I was, I'm, always, I'm a huge fan. He, he and, you know, him and Andre 3000 had invited me to be on the Idlewild album. And I met Big Boy during a time where I lost, I had gotten fired from my job. I was working at Office Depot. And uh, I was trying to respond back to some of my supporters, you know, just because I was selling CDs uh, out of my boarding house. I nice. was living with five other girls. We were just, you know, trying to make ends meet, and uh, that was how I made my money. But they had fired me because I was on the computer responding back, and they were like, you do not use Office Depot's computers. You know, you're fired. And so I met him. I wrote a song called Letting Go, and he put it out. I love it. Your now you buy Office Depot's computers. Roxy, her life is a movie. It like really that's, is. That's, that's a movie right there. That's an incredible story. And there's somebody at home right now that's watching this, that's going to whatever job it is that has that aspiration to be something more. And you're inspiring them right now. So that's, that's really special. Thank you, Doc. We have more with Janelle Monet right after this number three video. Don Julia, you're the one. It's not just an album. Janelle Monet's The Art Android is like a movie for your head when you're listening to it. It's, it's crazy. You have to get it. It's in stores right now. So I explain the title of your album. Uh, the Arc Android. Uh, I, I speak about androids because I feel that the android represents the other. And I feel at some times that I feel like the other, you know. And I think at, at one point uh, of time in our lives, I think we've all felt like that, you know, whether being the minor minority in the majority. And so the Arc Android is very similar to the Archangel or Neil from the Matrix, the mediator between the haves and the have-nots, the oppressed and the oppressor. And so that's where the name comes from. 
tell us about uh, Dance or Die. Uh, tell us about Dance or Die, and I want to talk about Cold War. Tell us yes. about those two records. Yes, Dance or Die. Man, I, uh, I'm so honored uh, to have Saul Williams, a dear friend of mine and, and wonderful, extraordinary poet, come on. It, it was like a spiritual experience. We were jumping up and down, sweating, you know, on some Fela stuff. You know, we, it was an African experience, and uh, I chose not to sing uh, I chose to spit, I chose to rap because I wanted people to hear the aggression of what I was speaking about and, and, uh, and that, that was a, it's a, it was a wonderful song to record. And, okay, all right. Um, now the Arc Android is in stores right now. <laughs> One more I want to talk about is Come Alive. Tell us a little bit about Come Alive. Oh, Come Alive is, uh, is, is a song written for the oppressor. The ones that tell, that tell you, you know, oh, you're different, you have to stay over here, or uh, you can't dance, or you can't do this. That's just a very punk, uh, rebellious song, and I wrote it for people uh, to sing to those who are trying to hold them back from just being themselves. I love it. One thing that you, you have to respect about your art and your craft is you're not scared to do something that you love the way you want to do it. And this is her movie. This is the way she portrayed it. You told me you were going to be doing visuals to each one of the songs, right? Absolutely. This is uh, an emotion picture mm -hmm. for the mind. Truly. So uh, I'm just very thankful to have uh, Sean Combs and the Atlantic staff and everybody. Yeah, they're allowing... They're allowing my team. I have my own recording label, the Wonderland Art Society. And Sean Combs is puffy for y'all. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. And, uh, he's a huge endorser of what we're doing. And uh, he said, you know, I don't want to be involved creatively. I want you guys to soar. I just want people to know about what's going on in the Wonderground. And so they're allowing us to, uh, you know, shoot a visual for every song on the Arc Android. And, and we're creating our movie. It's a good look, Diddy. This is a good is. project right here. It's in stores right now, all right? The Arc Android. Janelle, we always enjoy you when you come Thank by. you so much. We always have a new story for us. Thank you guys us. so much. All right, guys, we got so much more on the way. Pro Style was good.